One of the biggest game changers in a software engineering career isn't learning a new framework or chasing the latest tech trend. It's mastering automation. It's our ability to streamline repetitive tasks. So in this video, I want to show you guys how automating complex or manual tasks helps you skip past the grunt work and stay laser focused on the good stuff. That is actual development. I'll walk you through my personal GitHub Actions workflow for automatically releasing my World of Warcraft add-ons. Seriously, if you're still doing this manually, someone needs to slap you. Okay, okay, please ignore that last part. No one is actually slapping anyone. So back to the story. Whenever I encounter something that I'm doing repetitively, I'm always saying something like, man, this stuff is taking way too long. Can't we just automate this somehow? So one, one small example is that whenever I'm switching Java versions, I always had to set the Java home environment variable and also set the path to the same version. That annoyed me immediately and, you know, just wrote a small shell script that allows me to configure my dev environment for different Java versions. Easy enough, right? Now, all I have to do is just type something like JDK8 for a small, you know, a older version and then JD, JDK23 for the latest version. Hit enter and then boom, it's done. Let's do a real live demo on how all these automated builds work. We're going to modify a readme file and then create a pull request. And here we go. After it's merged, it will do the branch build again. Since today is April 1, we're going to push it. April Fools. Here we go. Boom. Got pushed. Then next thing we do is we'll go back to the actions. And here it is. It triggered the release build. It created a draft release. And you can see the assets here. There's about four of them. But here's the bug that it referenced. Created all that. This part of the process really saves time. This is one of the pain points. Okay, so going back to CourseForge, here's the file that I just got released, automatically pushed to the add-on site. And what we're going to do here is basically just review the change log that got created. This was automatically done by an action, a GitHub workflow action. And it's really nice. And you can also preview it here. And for this demo, we're going to mark it alpha because this is not a legitimate uh, change here. So we're just going to mark it alpha. And that is basically it. There's a process, CurseForge will basically check the new file and then it's automated and it'll give me a notification once it's available for release. Okay, now let's take a look at the release draft that it automatically created here. So you can see it's 20, 2025 4.1, which is a tag that we created. Here's the MD5, here are all the assets, and we can actually edit this and double check and make sure it's correct before we mark the release or publish the release. We have a record of all our releases. And that is it for this demonstration.